Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor across the Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. Just got done with chapel with our pre-K students. Those are kids who are one year removed from kindergarten. And today in chapel, they have continued to be learning about the flood and about Noah, which we talked about a couple weeks ago. This is our last week uh, talking about the flood with that group. And today I had them do a little exercise. Noah and his family and all those animals were in the ark for one year and 11 days. That's 376 days. And maybe you're thinking, well, I thought it was 40 days, 40 nights. That's how long it rained. But it was much longer before Noah and the family got to get off of the ark. 376 days they were on that boat. So I had the kids tuck their feet up on the chair and they had to wrap their arms around their knees and they had to stay still and we were going to count to 376. If you get out, if you move, you're out. We made it to 40 and I stopped us as I needed to move. <laughs> I was out. The rain was done falling, but now we had to get to 376. We kept counting and counting and counting till we got to 100. And I had no intention on actually going all the way to 376. That would take us forever to count that high, with such youngins in the group. Uh, but they made it to 100 and did a really good job. Had to make sure I knew that I got out and they didn't, that they made it. Uh, but the point of that exercise being, it could be hard to wait. It could be hard to be patient. Noah and his family in that tight, cramped up boat, surrounded by all of those animals, those smelly, noisy animals, boy, did they have to be patient. They had to wait 376 days before they could get out of that boat. There are times in our lives where we have to be patient. Have to be patient with our own children. We have to be patient at work. When we get sick, we have to be patient with the healing process. And all of us were patiently waiting for Christ's return. Waiting for a day when sin will come to an end. When suffering and pain will come to an end. When death itself will come to an end. In the church, we've been waiting much longer than 376 days for that to happen. We've been waiting almost 2,000 years since Christ ascended into heaven. It would be hard to be patient. And yet through faith, the Holy Spirit enables us to be patient and to wait as we trust in God's promises. Noah and his family, they had to wait a long time before they got off of that boat. But eventually God did keep his promise and they got out on dry land. God's people in the Old Testament waited a long time for God to send them a savior. But eventually God kept his promise and sent us our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And now we've been waiting a long time for our savior to return and complete the restoration of this sinful broken world. We can look back and see how God has always kept his promises. And we can trust that he will keep this one too. Jesus will return. He says, I am coming soon. We simply need to pray to God and ask him to help us be patient. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your promises. Lord, we know that you are a God who always keeps his promises. Help us, Lord, to trust in your promises. And when they seem to be taking longer than we would like for you to keep them, teach us, Lord, to be patient. In your name we pray. Amen. I'll be praying for you today. And I'll be praying for patience. Whatever ails you today, whatever you're dealing with, I pray that God would help you to be patient as you go through that. And more importantly, I pray God would keep you patient as you wait for the day of his return. Amen.